welcome to economics mcq series chapter 1 part 2 in the last video i have discussed expected questions from chapter 1 of indian and global economic development tybcom in this video i have taken more questions from chapter 1 itself so let us start with the first question the first question is on the screen according to world bank data what was the size of Chinese economy in 2017 on purchasing power parity basis? You should keep in mind on purchasing power parity basis. 19 trillion dollar, 23.3 trillion dollar, 12.2 trillion dollar, 10 trillion dollar. Yes, the correct answer is 23.3 trillion dollar. Dear students, whenever you are attempting such questions based on data, you must keep in mind which year data they are asking for and which organization data because data are released by several organization like World Bank, IMF, RBI, Niti Ayo and so on and data may be on nominal term, it may be on purchasing power parity. So you must keep in mind this these things before answering any question based on data. So the answer to this question is 23.3 trillion dollar. In fact, uh, in 2017, Chinese economy was the largest economy with this 23.3 trillion GDP. Next question on the screen. According to World Bank data, what was the size of Indian economy in 2017 on purchasing power parity basis? Again, it is on purchasing power parity basis and World Bank data it is asking for. So, first option is 7.5 trillion dollar, second 5.3 trillion dollar, 9.4 trillion dollar, 2.5 trillion dollar. So, can you guess? Yes, the correct answer is 9.5. 4 trillion dollar the size of Indian economy in 2017 as per World Bank data on PPP term purchasing power parity basis was 9.4 trillion dollar. Next question according to World Bank data again what was the size of China's GDP in 2017 on nominal terms on nominal basis. 19 trillion dollar, 23.3 trillion dollar, 12.2 trillion dollar, 10 trillion dollar. So the correct answer is 12.2 trillion dollar. So Chinese GDP in 2017 was 12.2 trillion dollar on nominal terms. Whereas on PPP term it was 23.3 trillion dollar. Question, next question, according to World Bank data, what was the size of USA's America's GDP in 2017 on nominal term? On nominal basis, what was the GDP of USA? 19.3 trillion dollar, 23.3 trillion dollar, 12.2 trillion dollar or 10.3 uh, 10, 10 trillion dollar. So the correct answer here is 19.3 trillion dollar. In fact, on nominal term, USA's GDP was highest 19.3 trillion dollar on nominal term. Next question, according to World Bank data, what was the size, what was the size of India's GDP in 2017 on nominal terms? On nominal term, what was the GDP of India in 2017 as per World Bank data? 1.9 trillion dollar, 2.5 trillion dollar, 2.2 trillion dollar or 1.0 trillion dollar. Can you guess students? Yes, it was 2.5 trillion dollar as per World Bank data in 2017 on nominal terms. Next question, what is the size of India's economy at present on nominal GDP basis? Again, this question is related to nominal GDP basis only, but here, uh, which organization data is this? 
is not mentioned and present data it is asking for so it is 2.93 us dollar 11.30 trillion us dollar 3.5 trillion us dollar or none of the above here correct answer is 2.93 trillion dollar this data is released by imf report 2019 imf report earlier data was of world bank this is imf data and of 2019 reported so it is it was the first answer is the correct answer next question according to world bank data what was the size of world gdp whole world entire world gdp in 2017 on nominal terms first option 115 trillion dollar 200 trillion dollar 90.5 trillion dollar 80.6 trillion dollar so can you guess the students what is the correct answer the correct answer is 80.6 trillion dollar overall world gdp in 2017 on nominal terms was 80.6 trillion dollar as per world bank data next question according to world bank data what was the size of world gdp in 2017 on triple p basis or purchasing power parity basis 127.7 trillion dollar 200 trillion dollar 90.5 trillion dollar 80.6 trillion dollar yes the correct answer is 127.7 trillion dollar on ppp basis and this data was released by world bank next question according to world bank data what was the per capita income of india in 2019 on ppp basis and the base was current USD $6,037, $7,034, $6,094, $1,505. Yes, the correct answer, can you guess? The correct answer is $7,034 on PPP basis per capita income of India in 2019 was seven thousand thirty four dollar next question who releases data of national income in india which organization is responsible for the release of data on national income nsso cso niti io or none of the above yes the correct answer is CSO that is central statistical organization whereas this NSSO national sample survey organization conducts overall surveys across the country but CSO under the ministry of statistics implementation uh, calculates uh, this uh, uh, national income data so second one is the correct answer next question which country is the fourth largest economy in the world in terms of nominal gdp on nominal gdp term which country is the fourth largest germany britain japan russia yes the correct answer is germany is the fourth largest economy in the world on nominal gdp basis next question which sector contribute the most income to india's economy primary sector secondary sector tertiary sector or none of the above it is tertiary sector or service sector which contributes the most income to india's economy next what percentage of india's gva gross value added is contributed by service sector in 2019 20 55.3% 60% 53.5% 49% yes the correct answer is 55.3% the service sector contributes 55.3% in the gross value added 
contributed in 2019-20. Next question, what percentage of India's gross value added is contributed by the industrial sector in 2018-19? 30 point, 35.3%, 40%, 23.5%, 29.6%. Correct answer is 29.6% of total GVA, 29.6% was contributed by industrial sector in 1819. Next question is, what percentage of India's gross value added is contributed by agriculture sector in 2019 20 16.5% 15.2% 21.5% 19.6% correct answer is 16.5% was contributed by agriculture sector in 2019 20 20 so these are some of the uh, questions based on uh, first chapter of Indian and global economic development. So next, uh, in the next video, I'll prepare the questions from chapter number two. So please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos so that you will get notification immediately. Thanks. Thank you so much.